Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some milk bar cookies. This is the cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow cookie dough and the milk bar uh, fruity cereal cookie dough. So they're calling them it's cookie dough, but it makes 12 cookies. Uh, these were $4.72 at Kroger. They're limited edition, so they won't be out forever. Uh, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and open the package like this. You do not have to make them all at one time, and I'm not going to make all of ours at one time. Um, you can make as many as you want. That's the good thing about these, is you can make uh, four and then put them back in the refrigerator if you want. So that is what the, um, the fruity cereal looks like. Looks like it has a bunch of white chips in there. So I'm going to bake two. And you can either grease a cookie sheet or use parchment paper. I'm going to use parchment paper. So this is the cornflake chocolate chip. There's those. And I'm going to leave those. I'm going to uh, bake some of these that actually have more they look like they have more stuff in them. So to me, this side looks like it has more stuff, especially these two in the center. So I'm gonna bake these two. Put them over here. So they bake, it says heat oven to 350, grease cookie sheet, break cookie dough along scored lines, place dough about two inches apart on cookie sheet, bake 20, 18 to 21 minutes, or until edges are golden brown. So I'm going to put these in the oven for 20 minutes, and then we'll be back. The time on the, the package said to bake them between 18 and 21 minutes. These were in a little less than 18 minutes, and this is how they look. So if you like a uh, flat, crispy cookie, then <laughs> you're gonna be happy with these. Um, I'm going to let them sit here and cool off before we uh, take them to the table and give them a try. Okay, we're gonna try the cornflake chocolate chip first. It's cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. Look how thin that got. And I mean, I, I didn't leave these out of the refrigerator or anything. They, they, you buy them in the refrigerated section, of course, and then you, you leave them that way. Um, mm. This says uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Good. 12 servings, so 12 cookies. One cookie is 140 calories. And these are distributed by General Mills. It says the product can be frozen up to two months. So if you buy these, you really like them, they're limited edition, you can put them in the freezer. Okay. They, um, even though they got really thin, they actually have a, a chewy middle with like a crunchy outside rim. I taste the marshmallow in the bite that I got. Mm -hmm. I taste the chocolate. It even has that little bit of a, like a buttery, um, buttery cookie flavor. Mm -hmm. They're better than I thought they were going to be because mm -hmm. when I saw them on the oven sheet, the baking sheet when we pulled it out, I was like, hmm, those look almost scorched a little like. I mean, mm -hmm. They were very brown, very thin, so I thought they were going to be really dry. They're not. They're actually chewy in the milk. I don't mind it at all. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about the cornflake part, but... That's the only part I'm not getting. I definitely get the chocolate chip and the marshmallow, mm -hmm. and you do get a buttery flavor. Yeah, yeah the cornflake is what I don't taste. You just need to know that you need to be a thin, crispy type of person. If you don't like that type of cookie at all, well, then these aren't for you. Cause yeah, it, if you like the really thick, gooey, like almost not baked cookies, these yes. are not the... No. But See, they do have a nice chew in the center, which is better than I thought. I thought yes. they were going to be dry and they're not. I can go either way. You know, I like these. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a thin, crispy cookie, and sometimes I'm in a, the mood for a... Real thick, ooey gooey cookie. Sometimes I'm in a mood, the mood for a stuffed cookie. So I don't rule out any cookies. And, you know, don't rule out any cookies. I, um, I, I actually like that one quite a bit, honestly. Mm -hmm. I like the thin cookie. And I really do like that marshmallow flavor. Yeah, it's nice. 
And this is fruity cereal cookie dough. Um, it's 150 calories per cookie. And I'm taking my bites right out of the center. I'm kind of getting both. The outside edge is very, very, very crispy though, so just keep that in mind. Well, it does taste like, I think it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has that lemon like flavor? Mm -hmm. You still get that, like that buttery oily feel on your fingers and your lips i like both i like both of these honestly mm -hmm. I, I just wish for me i wish they were just a little bit thicker but there's a solution to that on the package oh yes the solution get this and the reason we didn't do it is because you have to bake them at a different time uh if you want to make it says to make six bakery size cookies you heat your oven to 350 break cookie dough along scored lines into 12 squares so you got all your little squares stack two dough squares together. Yeah, so you got two squares on top of each other. Place six stack cookies on grease cookie sheet. Bake for 22 to 25 minutes. So you have to bake them longer or until the edges are golden brown. So we're going to go for it. We're going to do the bakery size cookies. And so they suggested putting two of these together. So I'm going to take this. And that's that's the way they describe it, just like that. It's gonna gonna put one there and one there. They say they're gonna bake for 22 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna go on the low end. I'm gonna go for 20. Um, I'm gonna go for 21 minutes, and then we'll be back. So this is what the bakery size cookie looks like. It did spread out a little bit because here is our. Uh, just the original cookie so you can see it if you're gonna make these you need to have extra space on your cookie sheet because it is bigger and then here is the fruity cereal one so yes it does spread out uh, but it's it still is thin but you can tell it's still it's a, a little little thicker. little thicker in the middle so we'll let these cool off and we'll try them like this as well so we're gonna try, once again, we're gonna try the cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. I brought this over so we could hold it hold it up. Yeah. I think what it's doing. Ooh, look at the back of it, of yours. Cause it's it has- That's because it was sh shining light though, that's why. It has so much, uh, Kevin's, it looks like it has so much stuff But tell you it. what, it's still an awfully thin cookie. It's it really is. not much thicker. No, I expected it to be thicker. It's not, it's just no, bigger. It's just bigger. So it's like- it's, So it's really not gonna probably be much No. Thicker. Uh, I expected it to be a lot different, but I can tell you the calories changed. Because now <laughs> well, the doubling. calories went from 140 to 280, so 280 calories. Do you get more of a middle part then? Mm hmm. Which is still very, very cheap. Hmm. I'm still surprised it didn't get thicker. I know. Bigger. I wonder though Fair if on. you can do all these cookies like that, you know, because we've we've reviewed so many of them. You mean just whatever brand? Whatever brand. I've never thought to put one on top of the other, mm -hmm. and, um, it and might, do that. It might make a lot of difference where uh, the consistency of the cookie itself, mm -hmm. like the raw cookie. If it's a, if it's not soft enough to spread, then it may not work. I don't know. I tell you what. Um, I like these more than the milk bar cookies you get on the shelf. Um, I was never crazy about those at all, or crazy about, um, well, the price of the refrigerated ones, because they're just expensive. Um, I really, really, really like their ice cream. Yeah. The milk bar ice cream, I think, is the best thing they have going for them. It, it's really fantastic. It's really good. Um... And so if you haven't tried that, you should. Uh, this is fruity cereal again. You would think there would have been a huge difference though in texture or something. And honestly, mm -hmm. it just spread it out. It's a little well. So, yeah. yeah, we were... Um, the big difference is the center part that's chewy. Mm -hmm. Since it's bigger, you get more chewy. Yes. But that's it. 
Yes, exactly. But it tastes exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Same texture, um, same everything. Yeah, and I knew people would be curious, so that's why we wanted to go ahead and go for it and do it. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I personally would just go ahead and make the, the 12 individual cookies. Right. And that way you get 12 cookies instead of six big ones. Well, and the good thing about that is you can fit those 12 on one cookie sheet. When you double them up like that, uh, they, spread, they spread out. You're not going to be able to do that. I think you're going to have to put like three at mm -hmm. a time. Three on one sheet, three on another sheet. Uh, because it, it, they just they spread out so much. Uh, so... I like these. I, I like them both. Uh, the fruity wouldn't be something I would choose all the me time either. just because it is a strong flavor. Yeah, me either. Um, I don't like them, but I wouldn't, but, I wouldn't probably wouldn't buy them again. Yeah, but I do like them. And I do like these more than, like I said, the ones you get on the shelf. Um, I know we bought them at Whole Foods years ago, but I've seen them everywhere now, I think. Target and places like that. Uh, but I would really encourage you to buy their ice cream. Yeah, it's really good. Because it's terrific ice cream. Pick any of them. They have lots to choose from. And they don't disappoint. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.